It's a pretty little house in Abington. It's been rehabbed with an addition, a new kitchen, and new baths. When it was time for her to go on the market, the owners called in Maureen Poole of Cohasset. Her company, Astounding Surrounding Staging, stages homes for sale. The first thing I noticed was there wasn't a speck of dust anywhere, and there was no clutter. Everything was perfect, right down to the little vase of flowers and the books artfully arranged on the coffee table. The wise homeowner is recognizing that they need to do their updates. The buyers that are coming in no longer want to take on the projects. They want to come in to a very clean slate. Most of the buyers are hardworking, usually dual working, uh, you know, couples or parents, and they just don't have the time, the energy, or the ambition to take on you know, redoing floors or taking down wallpapers or changing out knobs or faucets or, you know, doing some updates that need to get done on a home. It really is up the, to the homeowner. The wise ones are going to see that that investment is worth making. If they make home improvements and combine it with staging, they're going to end up getting a higher stage list price when they go to put it on the market. And then um, it's going to sell faster and for the most amount of money. And this particular house went on the market in March and sold in four days. There was a snowstorm that weekend, which is why we never got our broker open house in. We had the uh, public open house and it sold that day. Maureen took me on a tour of the house. We started in the master bedroom. It was decorated in neutrals with touches of light yellow. The colors um, came to me, you know, based on furniture selection. Um, I knew I was going to play with some black, um, and I didn't want the room to feel heavy at all uh, with too many moody, dark colors. And uh, springtime was approaching, <laughs> so I wanted to give it a little life with some pretty yellow colors. Give Decorating it and staging are not the same things. It's very important to understand that. Decorating is all about the personalizing of the client, the person, the people that live in the home. Staging, we're, we're here to stage. We're here to show off the house, the assets of the home. Decorating has the individuality. Staging, it, it's about the house. As with the downstairs rooms, everything here was immaculate. When Maureen stages a home, she brings in the accessories from her own collection flowers, pretty pillows, a soft throw, a bedside clock. There was even a book and a cup of tea on the bedside table. I couldn't resist looking to see if it were real. Okay. <laughs> so I just want to demonstrate that this is... <laughs> it looks very real. Right? Yeah. So this house was completely empty and you had a free hand. Um, what about the case where somebody's actually living in the house? How do you handle that? That's Absolutely. called occupied staging. So... I will go in and do a preview and analyze the situation as far as how much clutter th that's in the home because <laughs> clutter does eat equity and you don't <laughs> want that. Clutter eats equity. Thinking of my own house as I look okay. around here saying, oh my God, I've got a long way to go. Um, Tell me I'm not the only one. You are so not the only one. <laughs> you have to come up with a plan when you're selling um, and you're living in your home and you're getting it prepared, you're going to have to have some bins that you can quickly put your toaster in and maybe your pot filled of spoons and utensils that you cook with um, to clear off the counters that you know, you know you have a showing coming up or there's a public open house planned. You need to prepare. So if you had a huge bin, you could put all these pieces into it and, you know, Put them away nicely either in your garage or your basement or better yet put them in your car with you and take them away <laughs> there's also storage pods that you could rent uh, that would you know pa you'd pack it up with the possessions that you do want to keep and then those pods can be removed from your property okay so you go into a home and you and you do an assessment or an evaluation mm -hmm. and you say get rid of the clutter then what i can go in and strictly just do a consultation uh, where the homeowner or the realtor, whoever brings me in, would probably take all the notes um, and I would consult on everything that's being done there. 
and then if they would like to get, have me come up with a bid proposal for my company to come back and do the staging, then I take it a lot further with photos and measurements, and I put together a thorough, thorough, very thorough proposal with all my recommendations. Remember why the buyers are coming in. They're coming in to see the house that they want to buy. Not your possessions, not your collections. What about photographs, frames, photos? Okay, so you never want to have personal ones. All your family photos, all your children or your grandchildren or whoever, those all need to be packed up. And you know what? When your house is going to sell faster, you're going to have to get it packed anyways. So start packing now and get ready to move because okay. that's what happens when you stage a home. 95% of ASP stage homes, accredited staging professionals home, sell in 23 days or less. Wow. Yeah. Even in this economy, huh? Even in this economy. Uh -huh. yeah. Would you say especially in this economy? Yes, I would. I the baby boomers are here, and they're here to stay for quite a while, and it's growing larger and larger. They're getting ready to um, scale down and, and live a simpler life. So there's going to be an awful lot of homes that will be turned over. When a homeowner puts their house on the market, it's now a product. So now they need to treat it as a house, not a home. And this is a really big business deal that they're entering into. Right. So it's really hard to take their emotions out of it. But if they can do it and do it successfully, they will have a very successful business deal. And that's what we want for all of them our clients. By the time we finished our conversation, the movers arrived to pack up the furniture. The house had been sold after all. Maureen gathered all the accessories she'd brought to the house and then she was off to help the next homeowner stage her house. You can visit her online at astoundingsurroundingstaging.com.